Hey friends, welcome back into this new video tutorial with OSP Pro. Guys, if this is your first time to watch my video, I encourage you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel OSP Pro so that support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel so that we hit this 1000 subscribers. Now in this video, like I may say to you guys, I'm going to be sharing you guys, working with you guys, showing you how to create or how to change one of fonts are uh, using Pi PDF. You get Pi F PDF. So I'm going to be working with you guys, showing you guys how to create up a, a simple uh, Python uh, one last uh, uh, Pi PDF uh, fonts. Now I'm going to clear whatever thing we have there and adjust mean with my initial stuff. Now that stuff what we have done. So what we need now? What am I trying to talk about? Like uh, what am I trying to mean? Uh, we need to see how to change the font, like changing font to different types of fonts. I'm just going to be giving a live demonstration to some few fonts around, like how we're going to be seeing how to change the font and font size, something like that. Now let me just start with this by saying defining function called change font. So I'm going to simply say div, uh, maybe change, uh, change for me font, change underscore font, so, so that can give us sign uh, font, fonts, change fonts. That's just my function to change fonts. And what am I going to be talking about? I'm going to simply say PDF, which equals to how. Uh, we are trying to say PDF equals to the other very function we said last time, which is FPDF, just like what last time we did, you get, on the previous uh, video. And here down, what else do you want to do? We need to add a page, because we don't have a page by, page by now. So we need to add a page, and when you click on add page, it gives us a chance to create on add, add a page. Now, we also need to add one as the font underscore size, which this will give us a chance to know the size of the font we actually want to give. And this time around, I want to talk about 8. To be the size of the font to be eight, so you can actually give it ten whatever thing you want to give to. And here down, I'm going to just put a for loop like for instance, uh, if the font in the list of the fonts we're trying to say in PDF dot one has a core font, you get. Remember, it gives us with the PDF PDF gives us list of different fonts. Though I didn't get a chance to show you that on this video, but I hope so in the next video I'll be showing you uh, those list of fonts. So what do you want? We want those fonts in the PDF core fonts, on the list of the fonts that maybe they have, you get? What do we want to do? Or what do we want to do? We want to say if any font is there, or if any, like if there's any kind of maybe a font, based on, on what we have on the, maybe on the list of fonts, we want if there's any letter for that given font in there, for the, for, for the letter in the font, that maybe we're talking about in the list of the fonts that we have in the project. If there's any letter there in our font, so that's the same one I'm talking is what I have to explain. We need to pick the super one on us, the super one. We need to pick the super functions to enable us pick those kind of list of the fonts in our projects. You get? So that's what I'm trying to talk about. And underneath here, what do I want to do? I want the project to skip or to continue. So you can just simply say maybe skip for me if there's any. So if there's any letter for letter in font, if letter the super is a super, so just skip it up. Otherwise, what do you want, want me to do? Just continue is what I'm trying to say. Skip up or continue the project. So skip me. I'm trying to use that skip for you guys to understand what I'm trying to say. So let's continue. So I want what else do I want at the moment? I want now the font set for me the font. Like we said last time, set the font. Uh, set now for me the font. Uh, let the font be something that maybe uh, let's set the font. Now here I'm going to be giving the font. Uh, this is it. So I'm giving the font, and also I want to give uh, one of us. Uh, I want to give one of us, uh, one of us uh, the size to that given font. Like the size. Let the size of that font be maybe font. Be uh, or to the font size we defined up somewhere. Pop up font size good. Let that size be equals to font size, which we define somewhere in our function like that. So this definitely gives us a chance. Just to shake that. Oh, oh good. So that gives us a chance to call for that. But now we need those to, to give a text to that given font. So I'm just going to find my text in that format, and I'm going to simply say maybe uh, font. I like maybe font name to be uh, to be in this kind of curl brackets braces, and then minus those braces if we have them in the page then we want those points on those kind of the forms we have in the project so that we pick that and also i need the format of the font 
at the format of those given font that we have in the project there and also the font size we defined in our currency previous uh, function so that we can actually get this list of the forms that we may be having the project and also i need to to, to track one on us uh, remember now we define our font previously and now we need to track one on us the cells remember we spoke about the cells previously like the list of the cells we're going to be having in our projects for those forms we want them last time we used 10 and 0 i think i'm going to use the same thing this time around and i also want to get the one as the text uh the text let the text on the other previous font be equals to also the text in this font here down here and i'm also going to use the same thing let the line be equals to one this will give us a chance and let us also align our element based on where we want it to be like for instance i'm going to use it to be center i'm going to use center to, so that you can have the same thing or you can definitely spare this to right or whatever remember i happen to explain to you guys so it's not something new anymore for you guys so what else do i want now i need now to, to, to talk about the font font size now i may add the font size to be three to all or three so plus to a given kind of font size so font size is equal to the font itself which is the same as having the font under size size uh, plus maybe two or plus one whatever thing you want to find there i'll explain and break this code for you down on previous kind of one format now what else i do i need now i need now uh, to talk about how uh, this is it uh, good so i need now also to talk about the pdf format which is format format to be a one on us uh, remember i said the font that equals to that now we may also talk about if i may cross check the way we said font equals to font good now i really spoke about that now that's good now what we just need to do at the moment i need to get first the output let me first get the output for now let the output be maybe a uh, change font change font size or whatever thing you want to give there but maybe it's have to be dot p e f like that so change font size which will give us a chance to change that font size in the size we want to give to and then i just need to go back to my page there and i simply say maybe if uh if name dash dash that uh is equal to if name equals that and i'm talking about the main remember from the main fonts itself what do you want me to do i want you to change that font you get yeah change for me the fonts if that name is there then change from those fonts so this is going to look through the program check those fonts and if it happened to find that actually there's that font in the program then definitely change from the font i hope there's no error in this video so that we get the output to be what we need object has no attribute is 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 i said is is sorry for that oh guys sorry i said is super not is is super good thank you so if i hope to check that again i think that's great so i hope my font is changed so if i click on here to oh, I think you can see a little bit change in my font. <laughs> That's so amazing. So we have the font name, this one, font name, this one, font name. We are adding it by two. Now I said something here previously, guys. Now so there's some of you guys who maybe are going to be using my codes and copy and paste. Good. If you don't want to write it this way, you can also use this. Remove this off. You can actually move that off. And then come in here and say plus get remove the other one say font equals to font plus two just say font equals to that and that so i'm going to first close this off because oh, it's going to make the some kind of fail to run that stuff and that's it so if you check back in on my program here pop up it does not make any difference but again it can make difference if i change the type of how my font is going to be looping through the program i can definitely change this to five oh, save that you get i'm trying to close all those fonts of ours that they can't get that off Oop, check that good now if i happen to come back in my program Oop. oh my god it's too big so that's it my friends i hope you guys have enjoyed this video that's how you can actually change fonts in a python with one in us uh, f python i uh, mean fpdf uh, font size so guys thanks for watching this video if you find it interesting please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel
here my video link on to now you can actually embed my videos on any kind of blah blah you want to you can share my video to your friend please share my video to your colleagues i mean you who's watching me right now share my video find it interesting don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that next time when i post a video you'll be notified thank you guys thank you